hello and welcome to this video which will help you through the student bursary application form for the academic year 2020 and 2021. This video has been produced by the Etc Group student bursary team. We have provided this video to help you with the application. We have also attached a PowerPoint with this voiceover as a note if you prefer to follow that way. We have also provided an FAQ section where we can answer the most common questions. Luke will be guiding you through this process. Please pause and rewind this video as and when you need to whilst completing this application. Please note that you can go back to a previous page on this application, but any completed information on the page you are on currently will be lost and you will have to complete that again. This application form is for the student bursary where help with travel to college, free meals, discounts on course kit and equipment and childcare is given. Please pause this video and read the BOSP with the large eye as this gives some important information on the application process. Play this video again when you are ready to start the application and click the large blue bar that says start your application. Please note this application is for the academic year of 2020 and 2021. Please do not use this form for any other academic year. Please pause this video again to read through the important funding terms and conditions for the bursary application. This page also contains information about your personal information and GDPR which we recommend you read. Once you have read this information, please read and tick the declaration and continue to step one. Press play again when you are ready to proceed. This page asks for some basic contact details about yourself. An asterisk on this form indicates that you must fill this section out and you cannot proceed until there is information submitted. The last question asks if you have an education, health and care plan. This outlines any special educational needs a student may have and the provision that a local authority must put in place to help them. It is important to tell us if you have one. If you are unsure if you do, please contact someone such as a social worker or class teacher who will be able to tell you this. Once this page is complete, please continue to step two. Any issues with the form will be highlighted in red and you'll be required to correct this before moving on to the next page. Step 2 asks for some further information about yourself which we need to know for the application and assessment. The first question asks what site you will be studying at. If you are unsure of this, please tick Stockton Riverside College and we can sort this out later. These questions allow us to assess you for more specific help. Please continue to step three. This page of the application asks for details around travel to and from your site of application. As part of the bursary, we offer free travel to students on most courses to and from college. Apprentices, higher education students, or students with an advanced learn alone are not eligible for free travel. Please tick the appropriate travel you will need. If you are unsure, please tick not sure and we can work that out for you. There is also a link to the Travel Line website to help if you are unsure of your travel needs. Please continue to the next step. Childcare is available for students depending on household income. If you need childcare and you are under 20 years old, then you can apply for childcare at Care to, Care to Learn. Click on the link to learn more. If you require childcare, you will be given the terms and conditions to read carefully. The forms needed to be complete and signed by both parties. Bursary staff will then inform you of your claim. 
If you require childcare, please tick yes, and then you will be asked how many children you require this far. Please continue to the next page. To assess your claim, we need to know your household income and where this income comes from. Please read and click the appropriate description. Depending on your choice, they may open another selection. Tick the relevant options and complete the amount per month that you receive. You will be asked to tell us the average monthly income for the household. You will also be asked to tick any household benefits received and that amount. Once you tick the benefit, you can then submit how much is received from this benefit per month. As part of your claim, we recommend you complete your bank details to allow us to pay you directly into your bank account. This allows us to pay you even if the college is closed. This page explains the evidence that we need to be able to assess your claim. This page will detail what evidence we require from you, depending on what information you have given us through the application. You can upload your evidence here, or upload them at a later date. We do, however, encourage you to upload them during your application for ease of both parties. If you are unsure how to do this, take a look at the FAQ section. Once you are ready to move on, it will ask you if you want to upload more evidence for your claim. Click the relevant option to move on. This section is confirming your application. Please read each bullet point and tick the box at the bottom if you agree with the above statements. Then click submit and send my application. Your application is then complete. Your application is now complete. You can contact us on the detailed number and email if you require any further help or information regarding this application. Thank you for watching.